All right, go boat. Hey everybody, I'm uh, Jason Ritchie, and I'm here to talk to you about the new pedal coming out of the Lone Wolf Blues Company from Baton Rouge, the Flat Cat Optical Compressor. This is it right here, it just came out. Uh, it'll be available in a couple weeks from the time that this video shows. Here in my pedal board I already have a series of Lone Wolf pedals and you can see my other videos about them. Of course there's the Harp Shield which is an anti-feedback pedal, the Hawk Brake, and then now all of a sudden the Optical Compressor. After that I'm running a Delay and the Sonic Maximizer. I always run those pedals and you're going to be able to hear what this pedal sounds like today. So I use my uh, heart break here as a preamp, so I'm getting a little bit of a signal boost. I'm also getting a signal boost from my wireless. And then I'm choosing to compress that signal afterwards. There's a couple of reasons I've done, I do this. I've always done this for a very, very long time. I first discovered it using a Boss OC2 octave pedal. I turned the octaves off and the volume all the way up. I had this great sound. I didn't know what it was. I later found out it was compression. I switched to a real compressor and started using the BBE Opto Stump. And then I got in touch with my buddy Randy over at Lone Wolf to see if we could possibly improve on the Opto Stump. And I sincerely 100% feel that we have. And with two knobs, okay, here, right here, the flat cap, okay, it's colored like the moon, like a moon cat. And it has two knobs, the volume and the squash. Okay, the squash, the squash right over here is the actual compression and activation here. And the volume here is to counteract the fact that when you step on a compressor, it tends to drop the volume, at least with a harmonica. So this is uh, where you are going to have to, at home, sit around and tweak a little bit. Let's check out the difference between compression on and off. I'm going to leave the harp break on and show you my tone naturally without compression, okay? So all I'm running through right now is the harp shield, which is just an anti-feedback device. The harp break, which is boosting my signal a little bit and giving me a little bit of distortion, which you can check out in my other videos. And then some delay, and then the sonic maximizer, which is like music in high def, okay? Anyway, let's check it out. As you can see, the pedal is off. Um, I'm playing an F harmonica through uh, an SM57 Ultimate from Greg Human. That blows me away. Dot com. <laughs> I'm trying to demonstrate what this pedal is going to do. When I play fast licks back to back without compression, they tend to blur together. When I hit the compression, they tend to sound like just a little bit sharper, a little bit clearer. Each note is isolated and has a more equal value. So, one more time without the pedal. Now here with the pedal. Now let me turn the compression up a little bit. I'm turning the squash knob up and I'm also going to turn the volume up a little bit to match the amount of squash that I'm adding and the, match the, the, the sound of the amp without the compression pedal on. Now I'm the type of player that normally plays with this pedal on all night. I just set it where I like it, get my good tone, and I leave it. Okay, but if you want to step on and off of it, you're going to have to tweak the volume to match the rig. So here we go, one more time with the pedal off. Now with it on. Let me turn the squash knob up a lot, okay? 
I'm going to turn the volume up a little bit more to match that because the more I squash it, the more I'm going to have to turn it up. Because I'm not just squashing frequencies, I'm squashing volume. <laughs> some of the low bend notes that we got going on. If I'm playing without compression, my low bend notes <clears throat> sound big and airy, but they don't sound defined, okay? If I play... Excuse me. Or if I play with the compression... a little bit of volume there let's do this let's turn the squash knob down a little bit back where I normally run it which is uh, right around nine o'clock a little bit over <laughs> helps to reduce feedback just a hair. In addition, you if you're running a harp shield, you can turn your rig up, turn your compression up, boost your signal with with the harp rig and turn and uh, and turn your amp up. So you're consistently getting more and more volume, more and more tone and at an even more even vol uh, more even like uh, sound frequencies, I don't know how to say. One quick thing. Um, when you're playing this particular instrument, there are certain notes on the instrument that have a different timbre. Uh, for example, the two draw bend. It doesn't sound the same as... It has its own kind of little frequency. And if you've been playing a while, you'll notice when you play through a rig, certain notes come alive and certain notes are more loud than others. If you're going for the type of sound where you want everything to sound even and cool and fast, if you're playing fast at all in any kind of context, compression's definitely for you. When you're playing overblows, the frequency of an overblow, I'm gonna turn this pedal off for a second. The frequency of an overblow t doesn't tend to sound very good through most harp amps or, most, or amplified period. I don't know if you can notice which notes were overblows, but there, there's one. There's another one. If I step on the compression pedal, if I step on the compression pedal, louder than the volume of the other notes when the compression isn't on. So I'm having a note that sticks out and tends to make me leery of playing it. When I'm rocking with the compression pedal on, I feel like everything, whether it's a bend or an overblow or a chord, has the same value sonically as the other notes. Okay. 930. What? 930. 9.30. Okay, we got 30 seconds left. I just want to say, you don't need a compression pedal if you're playing through a little amp. You don't need a compression pedal if you have a bullet mic through a little amp, okay? If you're playing through a big mic, through a, through a, a low Z microphone, and you want rock and sound, and, and at fast speed, and at high volume, then a compression is for you. Jason Ritchie for Lone Wolf Pedals. Thank you guys very much.